Welcome to the IQ Personal Vision Tracker Vision Test Tutorial. Over the next several minutes, we'll show you how easy and fun it is to use your miniscope to start testing your vision and generating accurate vision records. While we try to make the experience as easy as possible, the IQ Vision Test is based on a number of scientific measurements and giving your full attention to the steps and suggestions in this tutorial will lead to faster and better results. Let's get started. Before you launch the My IQ app, it's important to check that your smartphone's screen brightness is set to maximum and the audio controls are turned up to a comfortable listening level. Launch the My IQ app on your Android or iOS smartphone and log in to your account. At the bottom of the welcome screen, you'll see three tabs labeled Dashboard, Test, and Account. The dashboard is where you'll find your testing progress and view eyeglass numbers along with advanced vision summary and vision tracking. Before completing your first test, your dashboard will be empty. Click on the Test tab and you'll be taken to the Getting Started page. You can review this tutorial video by clicking on the Video Play button over the IQ logo. To stop the video, just tap the screen where the video is playing. Otherwise, click Next. Remove the miniscope from its case and rotate the eyepiece clockwise several times. This will help you get a feel for the movement. You'll notice that the eyepiece clicks at each number as it reaches the dot above the IQ logo. Back on your smartphone, you'll see a rectangular white area with a dotted outline showing where to attach the miniscope. Carefully peel off the protective cover from the base and mount the miniscope to your smartphone screen within the outline. It's not an adhesive, and it will not leave any residue or marks on your phone's screen. Make sure that the IQ logo is facing the bottom of your phone. Next, secure the mini scope to your phone by attaching the supplied elastic band. Now that the mini scope is securely attached to your phone, make sure the rotating eyepiece on the mini scope is set to position 1. Now, click the Next button. This opens the Test Preparation screen where you'll be prompted to remove your glasses or contacts to ensure the accuracy of your test. A voice prompt will play with a reminder of some of these setup instructions. Make sure the rotating eyepiece on your device is set at the initial position marked number one. Place your elbows on a flat surface, such as a table or desk, and hold your smartphone as steady as possible. Start with the mini scope at reading distance, which for most people is where you normally hold a book and slowly move it closer until the eye cup touches your right eye. Make sure you can clearly see the two vertical red and green lines through the miniscope. You may have to move the device around slightly to get comfortable with viewing them. This will take some practice, but it's an important part of getting accurate test results. Relax your left eye and keep it open during the test. Most people find it helpful to focus on a large object straight ahead at least six feet away such as a plant or picture. With the mini scope in position so that you can see the red and green lines, tap the plus or minus buttons at the bottom of the screen to move the two lines together until they completely overlap to form one yellow colored line. The minus button moves them closer and the plus farther apart. Pressing and holding down the plus or minus buttons, also known as long press, will move the lines faster. It's important to make sure that the two lines completely overlap and create a single yellow line. If at any point you only see one red or one green line, try readjusting your position very slightly. Once you're satisfied that the test lines are accurately fully overlapped, click the Next button. Great! That's your first measurement. Rotate the eyepiece clockwise one click to position two. The miniscope has markings on the stem to verify you are in position 2. This means the number 2 is above the white dot, located above the IQ logo. You will still be able to see the red and green lines, but now at a slightly tilted angle. Overlap them completely until you see only one yellow colored line. Once you are satisfied that the lines are perfectly overlapped, Click the Next button to proceed to Measurement 3. After completing all nine right eye measurements, you will be prompted to switch to your left eye and to reset the miniscope back to position 1. Congratulations! You have finished one set of measurements. 
Continue taking the left eye measurements in the same way as you did for your right eye until all nine measurements have been taken. Congratulations! Now the test completion screen appears with the first indication of your vision. There's also a test score which shows how well you performed on the test. You can discard the test or click Save This Test. Now you'll return automatically to the dashboard where your initial test results and progress score will be displayed. We recommend that you take this test at least three times during your first round of testing with the Personal Vision Tracker. Each complete test will be awarded points for accuracy, ranging from 5 to 40 points. After accumulating 100 points or more, the My IQ app will generate an accurate set of eyeglass numbers that you can use to order new eyeglasses online. Thanks for viewing this video and choosing to be knowledgeable and proactive about your eyes with the IQ Personal Vision Tracker. If you have any additional questions or want to learn more about your eyes, please visit us at iq.com support.